Hey there, Chris here, and today we're taking a look at the Apica CD Premium Notebooks. Um, these are going to be A5 size, and they come in three different ruling styles. They make a graph version that's going to be a 5 millimeter graph, a lined version, which is going to be 6.5 millimeters with a nice uh, top margin and a little uh, footer section. Um, the rulings are denoted by the cover color, so the graph is going to be red, lined is going to be blue, and the one we're going to be taking a closer look at is the black, which is going to be blank. So these notebooks come in a nice plastic sleeve. Um, it is actually a full sleeve. So if you want to keep that on there, it will protect the cover. Uh, it comes with this nice little band around the front. And then the notebook itself has a, a sturdier kind of cardstock cover than the regular Apica notebooks. Um, it has that same beautiful old style scroll work with a couple of lines on there, but it does have the premium instead of the uh, CD on the side. And the stitch binding is going to be covered by this uh, black outside protective strip. The notebooks themselves are pretty uh, matter of fact. Um, besides that front branding, there's just going to be a little bit on the back and that's kind of it. When you open it up to the first page, you can see that CD notebook is going to be embossed here, but there is a uh, kind of a cover page that has an index. The pages themselves aren't numbered, so um, I don't know how useful this will be for you, but it's nice that they include it. And then we get on to the actual notebook. So this paper is going to be actually a 70 gram. The other Apica notebooks that we sell are an 80 gram, but this is what they call their Silky 865 Premium Paper. And it is just incredibly smooth paper. Um, quite possibly the smoothest paper I've written on. Um, it's just like glass. It handled all our writing instruments very well. Um, actually, I thought it was so smooth that it was a little weird writing in pencils with it but uh, it felt great with the ball points, roller balls, and obviously all the fountain pens. Performance wise, uh, it handled ink very well. As you can see on the back side here, minimal show through, uh, a little bleed through actually with the really wet areas, uh, but I think generally this would be used for writing, so I don't think you're gonna be doing a whole lot of that. As you can see from these writing samples here, um, just really showed off the inks well, nice shading. There wasn't a whole lot of sheening, but uh, I can't overstress how smooth this paper was. If you like a writing on glass experience with your paper, uh, there's no better uh, choice than this. The notebook itself has 96 pages, so it's gonna be uh, a hefty one, uh, and it's well priced at $15.25. So it's a good value for the quality of the paper. You can go check them out at andersonpens.com.